I'm Nurisadet. I'm Amina Hassan. And I'm Soraya Abunar. And we make up the Cookery Coty. The Cookery is a boutique uh, catering company. Yeah. And uh, it started off, um, I think we all just have an intense love for food. And uh, Soraya is, uh, we're both chefs. Amina handles everything outside, outside. the kitchen. <laughs> I don't cook at, at all. all. <laughs> but she loves food. I, uh, I so we're all big foodies and uh, we decided once we finished Cordon Bleu, I did it in Paris, she did it in London, we came back and just joined forces. We thought it was a good idea and, uh, and uh, we wanted to open something together and it just... And bring it, we wanted to, to bring food. the type of food yeah. you eat abroad and the type of restaurants you eat in abroad to Cairo. To have a difference where the chefs are in the kitchen and they are the owners of the actual restaurant too. And that's the goal, hopefully. That's it is in the plan. In the it, plan. It's, it's part of a plan, but uh, we didn't want... It's all our first time in this field and we didn't want to risk it by just jumping ship right away. So we thought better to test the market with catering and then... Yeah, yeah, to market the our food exactly. through catering. To market our food through catering, basically. And uh, we wanted to add the service as well. You know, we wanted to uh, give people what what we lack here the good the food, food and the service experience, yeah. yeah we sell it we sell the experience we don't sell the food only or you mean we go to we don't send our chefs or our helpers Nur and Supi are the ones who go and cook and, and serve and, and plate everything and come up with the table settings and how the buffet should be set up on a table it's all yeah. the little details that make our main target is you don't need to go to Europe to get a European or a fine dining uh, meal and experience, which is everything from the waiters are watching you, wanting to see what what you prefer. Uh, we 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 like we cater to our clients exactly how you would see it abroad, or we try as much as we can. And nowadays we have a lot of up and coming um, hydroponic farms and things, so we can be comparable to abroad in a sense as in Egypt is, is growing in that field. We're, we're getting better in our products and in our, in our quality. So we're trying to stay local as much as possible and use local and show that we can be local, but give you international style, uh, Stand international standards, yeah. exactly. Variety. Variety and the consistency and of the product itself. The consistency. It's this, is, this is, I think, the most difficult part of it. It's small little things, like when you think about it, like potatoes. Uh, when you go abroad, you have over eight different kinds of potatoes. And, and each type has a specific use. Exactly. One's for frying, one's for boiling, one's for... So it's very difficult to get that variety here when all you have is one type of potato. Yeah. And you have to be smart with your seasons because abroad, uh, if, for instance, if you're in London and you get uh, strawberries and it says place of origin is from Egypt, once that season's over, they're getting it from somewhere else that would have the season. Here we don't have that, so we literally work with Seasonal. what we have. Yeah, exactly. Depending and on the, the weather. The ta that's the difference in the taste. Of the course. I mean, it's the same potato, but different taste. Yeah. <laughs> you can have Sounds the same like tomato sweeter. one day it's sweet and yeah. one day it's very bitter. So you have to just do that adjustment while you're doing the cooking to get the right flavor that you want. Yeah, this is the difficult part of the job. The consistency. We started uh, doing the cookery dining club uh, because um, we get a lot of requests. I mean, people keep on asking us to open a restaurant, open a restaurant. And we don't want to rush into it, basically. But what we thought of, in, um, and people want to try our food and eat our food without having to throw a whole uh, azuma in our dinner party, without getting to invite 30 people to try our food. So what we thought of is renting out different venues and uh, selling seats instead of um, to give for more exposure, basically and to uh, fill in the demand you know, of what people are asking for it. Uh, it, it's, yeah. it, it basically, it, well, like she said, it did stem from that and the whole point of it also is, is to, in Sahel we, we, we have a place open yeah. all summer and we get people from all walks of you know, life in Egypt, you know, I mean, so uh, People from 6th of October, people from ID, people from Optima, everyone was asking us to open up a restaurant. So we figured for for this year it would be the Cookery Dining Club, which means we'd go all around Cairo in different areas to, to tackle each region so that we're the people that wanted us in, in, in summer and 6th of October will, will get us there once. And people that wanted us in Optima will get us there once. And 
as well as that, they're all themed so that it creates more more of a fun atmosphere and, and a different setting for each single um, dinner that we do. So that way, it's um, our last one was Winter Woodland, and it was uh, in Otomea Heights, up by the fireplace. Mm -hmm. So it gave that cozy, um, uh, warm feeling of winter, you know, a ski lodge style. Uh, uh, the menu also reflects yeah. exactly the We started this last year, actually. We started it uh, in different venues we, to test this market. But um, the difference between last year and this year is with the themes. I mean, e each event has its own theme, from the invitation to the menu to the table setting to the decoration. the whole decoration. So the music, yeah, is played throughout because the we want to sell the experience more. I mean, this is our main aim. <laughs> but, um, this is yeah, this is what we're focusing on at the moment. Yeah. Aside from the private events in private houses. And it's also a lot of fun to just change it up every time, you know. In yeah. Egypt, we're very monotone. We, we like to stick, we don't like change. And even though we are very traditional in, in cooking, uh, we we like to change it up and we like to show that... It's you know, fun it's not, to yeah. try new recipes and to do different things every time. Meet new people. Yeah, meet new people. Um, and what's, all, you know, what's, I think, what's also fun about these events that um, instead of uh, dining with your friends at home you go to these areas in these places and always meet people you know that you haven't seen for a while because they all share the same interests the same they all love food. brings people together yeah exactly it brings people together but i think this is what's that what makes it fun basically it's mainly French and a bit of Italian. We try as much as possible, especially in our food, to do everything from scratch, including our pastas. We make our own dough for our ravioli with our own fillings, so it gives us more freedom to play around with different types of fillets. We always serve pastas. Uh, you get Sometimes it's a four-course meal, sometimes it's family style where everything is shared, so it depends on the theme of the event what the menu comes out to be. We do everything to the to the That's desserts, right but now. but we have you worked with other people before. Mm. Um, our main we both graduated the de cuisine, so our main um, focus, focus is savory, savory food. food. Yeah, uh, and uh, we we do taban desserts, but um, we prefer uh, cuisine. And we do certain desserts, <laughs> but we don't venture into the very complicated things because we don't have the experience to carry them out or implement them correctly. So we stick to things we know how to do <laughs> and the things we can do well, I think. So our next events are, are going to be Ma'ar Farms, uh, uh, Garden, Garden City, City Club, Club. Um, and hopefully... Uh, We're looking at this in uh, October. October. Different venues. Yeah, different venues. Um, uh, Atamea Heights again, because it was a big success, so people... Um, what, in, all right, they want us back there because uh, we only ca we only cater for fifty people. So sometimes we need to do uh, the same venue more than once. And uh, uh, no, I'm thinking of hypothetical. It's just uh, hypothetical is uh, is things that you wouldn't. Well, I don't know. Hypothetical would be by the pyramids at the Egyptian Museum, just places that probably our government yeah, would make it hard. Yeah, yes, that, that they, would, yeah. would just be a, a gem for one night, you know, which yeah. would be a nice little yeah. an experience. The problem basically. now is that um, we, the venues we serve our, it, we, have, we need to have a kitchen in the venue, but our aim is to let, not let this part stop us uh, from throwing yeah. the same experience Anywhere. <laughs> 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 we eat at the office. <laughs> no, funnily enough, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> funnily enough uh, chefs are known to have the worst eating habits because yeah. you come back and there's no Definitely. way I'm going to cook for myself after 14 hours. Yeah. 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 Noodles. They don't eat yeah. food. Pasta. Uh, pasta. Unless the we have salad like a salad. Don't make your own dough for yourself. No, no, no. no, no I, don't I eat their food. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, we always yeah. have. That's why I love the pasta. Yeah, shape or form, filling without, with any sauce, plain even, I'll eat pasta. Yeah. And cook it. And they play around a lot with pasta, so it's... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
I, I, think I would we say have a, yeah, many. a couple. Yeah. But uh, we had one for the summer that was quite the winner. Uh, a couple actually in the summer, uh, the lamb and um, the sea bass. The sea bass and the, the uh, filet for the sure. Filet. We did and a filet with like a cafe de Paris. So and our ravioli. Our ravioli. Yeah. It's made. It's homemade from scratch. Like the dough is homemade. The filling is homemade. The sauce is fresh. The only thing that's that's not local in everything that we use is truffle oil. Truffle oil. Yeah. But that's because that's it's why lo it's loved by everyone here in Egypt and you can't get it. Well, you can, but I mean it's a, it's an important yeah. product. But that's one of the winners. I like it, but I've always liked truffle. It's I'm much. not a big fan of the oil. Uh, I like truffle. That's, yeah, that's the issue. <laughs> <truffle. Yeah>. for <laughs> sure. Um, but um, I'm all for a simple pasta with uh, olive, olive oil, oil and garlic shaped <laughs> truffle. So uh, I wouldn't say no to truffle. Right? Yeah. The truffle fries, truffle. Our truffle fries actually is really good. Yeah, yeah. There's a bunch. Um, a bunch. Chelivio in Paris is one for me. Uh, and Zuma, for sure. Yeah. Chelivio uh, and Zuma for me. Um, but Chilivio is, yeah, Chilivio is a dream is restaurant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Chilivio is, uh, is uh, was a, a family. It is still, I think, a family-run uh, restaurant, and they've been doing this since forever, since yeah, the, maybe the nineteen fifties or something. It's been a while, so and they've perfected it. I mean, nothing comes like I've been to it so many times, and nothing has ever come out inconsistent. Yeah. It's the same every time. Management changes. There's and it has the personal touch yeah. that we uh, are We're striving for. Yeah, it's very homey, and the food is delicious. Yeah, and it's outside. It's in uh, me. Uh, and the family is always there. But it's a different feeling. It's and that's what yeah. we're trying to do: is for us to always be there, always be present, at wherever we open. Um, and there's also breakfast uh, restaurants, lunch restaurants, and dinner restaurants. <laughs> yeah. We can't really specify because <laughs> I have a bunch of. Uh, <laughs> and which country? Because then we're gonna yeah. just. You're hurting me a little bit. <laughs> I can't choose. I'm a breakfast person. Yeah, I love dinner. breakfast, although it's the least thing we eat. Yeah, breakfast <laughs> and dinner. Yeah, breakfast yeah, and dinner. Breakfast. I love it, and we have the perfect weather for that, so I'm hoping we're gonna help. We did a couple of breakfasts. Yeah. yeah. So and I'm hoping we're gonna continue yeah. that and help bring more attention yes. and awareness to the fact that we can enjoy ourselves at a reasonable hour also. Yeah. It's nice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we can sleep early and still <laughs> enjoy. I'll be eating. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I wouldn't do anything else. I yeah. couldn't picture myself I, I tried to I want to do something with food, definitely. I have my bisque. Uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? And it's a it's cook. A chef, yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, it's a really bad drawing, but I should know a cook. I have that earbud. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <the sauce> yeah. <laughs> so yeah.